Hey folks, welcome back. Well, if you possibly got a P2006 code on your um, Mazda 2.3 liter, this one happens to be a turbo. Um, I don't know if the non-turbos have this style of intake manifold or not. Um, but anyways, this that's what this one is. This happens to be in a 2007 um, CX-7. And you're, <clears throat> let me show you what the possible cause uh, might be for this particular uh, code. So the code is um, the intake manifold uh, runners and stuck in the open position um, or stuck closed. That's what it'll be, stuck closed. So that P2006. Um, the cause of it might be there's a little plastic tab right here that's supposed to see this switch right here. You can see what I've done now to uh, fix this because it's, this little tab has been uh, broken off of here but you can see when this thing these intake runners go into the closed position you know now this switch is <clears throat> basically it's open um, and that's what the PCM reads saying hey you know I requested to have the intake manifold runners closed now they are but when they request to have them open and this goes back here to you know this actuator opens it up if that little plastic tab right there can't push this um, switch closed then you're you're gonna have um, you know that fault come up there saying it's requesting these things to be open but it thinks they're stuck closed even though they're they're probably not and you can see what I did is I just kind of tack welded this um, bolt on to this deal right here because I couldn't find this this uh, plastic deal um, and I don't know you might be able to do this on the car It'd be kind of kind of a little bit of a tight fit but it's probably possible uh, this just happened to be something that I just noticed um, this car came to me all tore apart and everything so um, you know you can see that uh, it's gonna work just fine it's got its full range of motion still you know hits the stopper there hits the stopper there so uh, this should work just fine there's plenty of room you know in here for this to do what it needs to do but um, like I said I couldn't find this deal right here if you were to find it I would imagine you know you'd have to which wouldn't be too big of a deal but you know you'd have to take each one of these flaps off with these Phillips screws in here and then you'd have to uh, take this bolt out right here you know and take this actuator off you know and slide this completely out of here if that was even possible to even replace this I don't know but um, you know I would assume this intake manifold is pretty expensive so I didn't want to have to just uh, replace the intake manifold uh, just for that reason right there um, kind of a stupid little design on why they couldn't have made this out of metal too but anyways that should be how this uh, will work just fine so that if you have that code that's possibly you know because of this um, issue uh, something like this is a possible fix I thought I'd just share that with you and hopefully this helps you out thanks for watching